Hello everyone, it's Natalie with Crochet by Natalie Lucille and today we are going to make this star-like hoop earring. It's super, super easy to make and I will show you the materials that you'll need. First of all, I'm using a large hoop earring and you can get these from any craft store, Amazon, um, and they, I came, I think when I had ordered mine, I had ordered a, a set and it came with about 20 different sizes. I am using a size six crochet hook with some crochet thread floss. And in my color, I mean, you can use any color, but I'm using a light, almost whitish pink. You're going to need some needle nose pliers as well as these tiny little hooks like that so and you'll need eight of these little bitty hooks so we're going to go ahead and get started so first of all we're going to start out with making a magic loop and the way that you do that is you're going to cross over and fold down so it almost looks like a little pretzel and you'll insert your hook into that yarn there and just kind of move it to where it creates that circle. Create your tension and then you're going to chain one by um, yarning over and then pulling your loop or your hook through that and that creates the chain one so to speak. So we're going to work 24 single crochets around the magic loop. So you do that by inserting your hook into the magic circle, yarning over, pull using your like shepherd's hook of your hook to grab that yarn and pull it through. Maybe there we go. And when you come back up, you'll have two loops on your hook, yarn over, and then pull through two. So you're going to do that a total of 24 times. So that's one. two, three, and see how you just keep working in the magic circle, four, five, six, seven, and I'm just gonna keep working it around until I reach 24. Okay, so I have just finished my 24 single crochets around, so you can kind of see how your magic loop is quite large right now. And the reason it's called a magic loop is you can take your little tail here and just kind of cinch it closed, just like that. Now it won't be a tight where you can cinch it all the way because of the amount of single crochets that are on your magic loop. So now you want to join by working a slip stitch. So you insert into the first stitch, yarn over, and then just pull through both loops like that. And don't worry about your tail here. It will be tucked in at the very end. So your um, loop should look like this. Now we're ready for the second row. So you, what, what you want to do on this one is you're going to chain one and then work in that same stitch a single crochet by inserting into that stitch yarn over pull up and then yarn over and through two loops then you're going to chain three one two three then you're going to skip two stitches one two and you're going to work a single crochet into this stitch so you're going to go in there so you're essentially working where there's going to be two loops that you go underneath as you can see there and you yarn over pull back through so you have two loops yarn over and through two and you're going to work this all the way around like that so chain three one two three, come through, skip your two, one, 
two, come into this one and work a single crochet. Just like that. And you can kind of see your chain three loops there. So chain three, one, two, three. Skip the two, one, two, and then go right into there. One, two, whoops, three, come around and skip one, two, and then go right into here. And you're going to work this all the way around. One, two, three, one, two, skip. And then go right into the third one and you're just working your way kind of working in around because we won't actually turn our work we'll just keep joining and working in one direction okay so we've come to our oh wait no we haven't i'm sorry we still have more to go one two so we skip those two go into this one One, two, and three. One, two, skip. Now that one should be one of our last ones that we work on. And again, you can pause the video anytime you need, just if you have to go back, um, if you have to kind of slow it down a little bit. That is what the video is there for. So you've come to the end here. You're going to join into your first stitch here with a slip stitch. And so you're just going to insert, maybe, oh, there we go, yarn over, oops, yarn over, pull that through, and then again, you're just going to pull it through. And so you've just joined the round, so it should your work should look a little bit like this with the tail hanging down still. So now we're ready for our next round. So what we're going to be doing is working in the chain three spaces. So what you've just worked on here is you've gotten the chain spaces right there. So in the next round we're going to be working five single crochets in each chain three space so you want to come over to your chain three space and you want to work a slip stitch so you just work, go right into the space itself yarn over and then just pull through and chain one and you're going to work five single crochets so one sometimes it is no not want to go in there one two three four and five and then you're going to go to your next chain three space you can see it right there and you're going to do that again five single crochets so there's one two three four and five come to your next one right in there it's kind of small but you can still work it out one two three four and five next chain three space and I promise you it's there even when you come around it may look kind of flat and you can't see it it's there I promise so you're just gonna work in that space one, 
two, three, four, and five. And with the tension, it's going to draw up some, because you can see your spaces, see how it's starting to kind of look. Come to your next chain three space, work five, one, two, three, four, and five. Next space, one, two, three, four, five. And I have to remember doing a video, I move this hand a lot to kind of play with the yarn as well but I, ha I have a tendency, it, it moves quite a bit and then it goes out of focus. So I'm looking at my work as I do this and not on the camera. So it's going everywhere. I apologize. I'm trying to keep it as still as possible, but it's just how I crochet. So there is number five and we are almost all the way around. We have one more chain three space to work in for our five single crochets. One, two, three, four, and five, just like that. And so what you want to do is you're going to join the round by inserting into the first stitch of your first chain five with a slip stitch, and then that joins the round. So you can see how it's looking. So we're ready for it. What is it? Round number four, I believe. So now we want to work into our middle uh, chain, or I guess it's the middle of the chain five. So we're going to work our way over by slip stitching. So you go into the next stitch. And I want to make sure, and I have to kind of look closely, looks like the next stitch is our center. So slip stitch into there. You can kind of pull up a little bit, make sure it is centered. Let's see, one, two, no, actually we have one more to go over. Because I believe I slip stitched when I joined the round into the, there we go, into the chain stitch. So now we're going to chain three, one, two, and three. And this is going to count as your first double crochet because now we're going to be working double crochets in this sequence. Chain three, and this will be considered our chain three space. You'll see how it works in just a second. And you're going to be working several stitches in this same stitch here in the bottom. And we're going to work a double crochet. So you yarn over, insert your hook into the space, yarn over, and draw back through that loop. And so you'll have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, draw through two. Yarn over, draw through two. So that is a double crochet. Chain three, one, two, and three. Yarn over, going back into that same space here, you can see, just like that. Yarn over, pull back through. So you have three loops on your hook. Yarn over through two. Now you have two loops. Yarn over through two. Chain three. One, two, three. And so you're going to do one more double crochet into that same space. like that. So you'll have consider like it's, it's a four kind of there's your first double crochet which equal or it's considered a double crochet it's the chain three then you have your two more or three more double crochets in there so it, it'll look like this. Chain three one two three and then you're going to work your way over to the next 
chain or a single crochet of five and you're going to work in the center so if you look here one two and three your center looks like it's going to be this one with the like the little fuzzy sticking out and you're going to work a double crochet into that pull it just to make sure yes chain three one two and three back into that same space and remember you're going to be doing this a total of four times so you'll have four double crochets chain three go back into that same space Do it one more time. Chain three back into that same space. Just like that. So you can see where there's the four, and then you have your four here. So it's working its way around. Chain three, one, two, and three. And then you'll again work your way around find your middle you want to make sure it's definitely the middle because on the next round um well once you not just oops, i'm sorry that was a single crochet so we want to work a double crochet in the next round you'll be working in a center space or actually when you put the rings on at the end when it pulls from the center everything kind of pulls up so once it's um it's not that it's tight, it's just taut, I guess you could say. And it, if it's not in the center, it'll kind of be pulling at like a, a side angle in it. It's not exactly what you want, but you know what? It's your creation. You could have it any way you want. One, two, three, and then one more double crochet right into that space. It'll look like that. And so it kind of looks ribbony right now, but once it's stretched out, it won't do that. Chain three, coming over to the next single crochet, middle, center. Double crochet. Push your chain three, one, two, three. And just again working all the way around and I saw this design in a picture and I just tried to duplicate it so I'm not sure if it because I didn't follow a pattern I just kind of looked at it and thought okay well I can go ahead and give it a whirly swirl so I don't know who created it um, but I just kind of added my own look to the way that I I wanted it so working our way again because after you've chained three you're going to come to the center here and work your four of your double crochet there's one chain three second Double crochet it does get a bit crowded, but it, it again you want it to kind of ribbon almost um, and ruffle because once it's stretched out, it um, it'll flatten out. I guess you could say, and it'll still be a little bit loose. I need to figure out a way to make sure that the rings don't come off the earring. I don't know if you if there's a way to like have a transparent glue or maybe I can you know what I can use my needle nose pliers and tighten up the rings on the last two rings just so they don't slip off so just wondering how I want to do it okay so come to your center and work your double crochet chain three back into that stitch and we're oh we're about three quarters of the way there 
one, two, three. Again, I, I am moving, I do move my left hand uh, to manipulate the yarn as well. So my, I guess, active hand, I don't know, with the hook, it still remains pretty still. So it's my left, and so I, I hope nobody's getting dizzy watching it. So there's my four, chain three. And I think we've got about two more of our spaces here to work. And it'll finish this round and we'll have just one more round to go before we actually piece it together. See how quick it goes? This is why I like making embellishments and earrings because I can see what I want and make it in about an hour or so. But I, I have a tendency to crochet pretty fast. So I have to be careful because a lot of times um, I might miscount or um, miss a stitch. And so it, it kind of makes the pattern wonky. If, and you have to kind of go back through. Because I'm going to be honest with you. This is the second time I've made this video um, for these earrings because the first one I completely forgot oh in my round instead of making four I made three completely messed up the entire look and I was not happy because it you know it takes time to to make either a video or um, to crochet it so it's it's not fun having to go back over but you know what it's okay. You make it work. So there's two, three. So we have one more and then we're going to be joining our round after we do our chain three. And see again, it's a little bit ribbony and wobbly, but it will tighten up once we add it to our ring. So you're going to remember this is our chain three that equaled out as a double crochet plus the chain three. So you want to find the top one, two, three of your chained double crochet. And you want to go right in there with a slip stitch to join the round. Let's pull that through. So you've finished this round and now we're going to work on our final round. And the way you're going to do that is you're going to come over into this first uh, in between the two double crochets and this chain three space and you're going to work in the space by working a slip stitch and it just marks the space to start working in that area and you are going to chain one and we're going to go ahead and work a single crochet and then we're going to work a half double crochet. And the way you do that is you yarn over, insert into that space, yarn over, draw up so you have three loops on your hook, yarn over, and through all three. Then you're going to single crochet again. So in each chain three space, you're going to have three stitches. So we come to the middle. In this chain three, we're going to work a single crochet half double crochet and another single. So you're going to do that in each of those spaces. And so you come up to the third of your um, double crochet, kind of like almost like a V stitch. So you work a single crochet, half and a single. And then in your space, your chain three space between your double crochet V-like stitches, you're just going to work a single crochet. So you come in to that space and work a single crochet. So you now you have your next trio three spaces here. So you're going to come to the first one, work a single crochet, half, and a single, come to the next single, so we're now working in the middle one, 
half and single. Come to the third one, single, half, oopsies, and single. Now we are in our space in between the trios and you work a single crochet. So I'm just going to go ahead and work all the way around. Okay, so I've made it all the way around and here's my last in between space. So I'm going to single crochet and then to connect or join, I'm just going to come right into here and make a slip stitch by joining. So that is your wheel, I guess you could say. So I'm going to go ahead and cut and fasten off. Okay, so hold on. now that I have cut, I just um, drop my my hook. And I, cause I was like, oops, um, I need to fasten off. So the way that you fasten off is just yarn over and pull it through just like that. And then just kind of tighten it. So in the end, I will cut the yarns and actually I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now I'm going to weave them in. Okay. So I have woven in my end. So it essentially is looking like this. So. Now what you want to do is working in the center of the trio in your half double crochet, you are going to insert the uh, ring just like that. So I had to kind of pause it and then you just want to close in the ring. Just kind of manipulate it a little bit to kind of make sure that it's not looping funky. So I apologize for the moving around, but that's what you want to do. And I'll fix that um, once I work my way around. But in each trio here, you're going to work a ring into the half double crochet. Okay. So I've got all the rings around, as you can see. And so I'm just going to grab my earring open up the end here and I'm just going to feed the rings right into there so they should, should just slide right along and it's pretty easy oops so you can just kind of see how the rings slide right down And just keep feeding, feed, feeding, feeding the rings on here and just kind of continue working your way around. And luckily, your yarn's going to stretch a little bit. So trying to get that last one on can be a little wonky, but I think it's going to go on. So once that's on, you just kind of hold that in place and cross your fingers that it goes on the way you were hoping and nothing got crossed over, which I think a few may have, or now did it cross over? I don't think so. I may have to do it again because yeah, it's like, it is like wanting, um, what you doing? Hold on a minute. Let me figure this out. Okay. As I'm trying it again, you just kind of have to put them on and move it around a little bit. It's just this last one doesn't, it wants to scrunch up. And this one too. So you can get that on there. There we go. Okay. 
Let's see. <laughs> I don't know why. It's like doing this little ball thing. It didn't do that on the first one. I don't know why. Let's move that there and just... <laughs> There's your earring. Isn't that fantastic? Huh. Okay, let me, <laughs> let me try it again. So we have our earring. So this is what's so funny is the very first one ended up like this. And so this one should too. So we're going to try it again. So let's see. Yeah, I know exactly what I'm doing. Okay, I know exactly what I'm doing. Just feeding it and feeding it and feeding it as it goes around. So I'll just kind of spread it. I have to laugh at my oh my goodness, what do you it see it wants to um see I'm feeding it. I, I'm like I feel like I'm I'm doing what I, I had done before. But it wants to, you see how it wants to kind of scrunch up? Come on, you can do this. Let me bring this part around. Maybe it'll um, open up again. So I'm like, what is going on? Why do you want to be um, angry with me today? There's that one. And then this is where it gets funky. Let's see if maybe if we pull it around a little bit more. Oh my gosh, I think we may have gotten it. And it's not like folding up like a cocoon there we go <laughs> I do believe that worked that time <laughs> close it so it doesn't go anywhere there we go see how easy that was <laughs> third time's a charm so there you have it um beautiful stargazer it's almost like a dream catcher I kind of like the stargazer dream catcher look um so <laughs> How easy was that? And see, this is what I mean, too, that you don't want your rings to move. So I think what I'm going to do is tighten them with my um, needle nose. Or I might be able to leave it because as long as you don't touch them, they're not going anywhere. So there you have it. Easy. <laughs> Sometimes it's easy. So thank you guys for watching and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell I do upload regularly and I hope you did learn something new today I did um, and how you don't want a cocoon um, earring <laughs> unless unless that's what you were going for so maybe that's what you like <laughs> thank you guys and I will be seeing you soon